So here we are again with the the loyal the customer loyal loyalty playbook and I wanted to touch base on the marketing aspect of it. I love that portion of the book because it really just, you know, allows the customer, the client, excuse me, the, the business owner or businesses to realize it's something that can be done regarding marketing that's mm -hmm. to little to no cost. It does take some time to strategize mm -hmm. and implement so that there's some way of seeing and tracking the changes, seeing the results, seeing the growth and the progress. But it's, it's a good way of the things that you discussed in your book, like for example, the case study regarding the, the, the law firm that had to change, make some adjustments from litigations to dealing with small businesses. I really, it spoke a lot to me because I really can connect with that. I really resonate well with me. Well, it all emanates from strategy, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to decide what you want your business to do and mm -hmm. who the target market is. Mm -hmm. And then once you know the target market and you know, um, in that particular case study, um, the lawyer was doing more litigation work and wanted to change to be more of a support for small business. And so they worked out a gradual way over two years to change from the focus of the law firm from one type of client to another type of client. And they just did it by percentages and how much of that kind of work they would change quarter by quarter. Right. And, and so the marketing for making that change is um, it's all about creating a strategy and say, what does the target market pay attention to? Right. Do you know the psychographics, the demographics, the lifestyle patterns, and the buying patterns of that target market? And then, what are some low-cost to no-cost ways to adjust that through social media, right. or through event management, or from um, you know articles placed here or there, or promoting yourself as a uh, as a thought leader? Right, an expert in that particular uh, field right. or industry. So, it really depends on what you think your target market will listen to. That's right. why you want to get to know their thought patterns and their um, and their their buying patterns. Right. I always look into the you know the scenarios, especially being a small business owner myself and the small business clients mm -hmm. that I do do work with, and to take into note that small does not necessarily mean just small. They're you know doing well for themselves, um, mm -hmm. but just knowing how they are so hands on. And we talked about it before mm -hmm. off camera where we're talking about delegating and being able to mm -hmm. be willing to let go of the responsibility and giving that's it to someone. Of, that's what moving from leadership level one to leadership level two is. Mm -hmm. Leadership mm -hmm. level one is all about the founder and about um, doing things uh, and being overwhelmed because like, you're doing so many things. So many and things. maybe have a couple Wearing of so assistants, but you don't really have anybody in your business that you can delegate to uh, the thinking process mm -hmm. as well as the... Um, strategic accomplishment of things. Right, and implementations and, and right. actually making those decisions. And level two is all about delegation. It's all about letting saying, go. Let it go. <laughs> Hire the right people right. so they can do it even better than you can do it. Right. That's a big transition for a lot of small That's business owners. Right. That's right. Because it's almost like giving away, you know, letting go of their child, you know, giving That's their right. baby to someone else. Nobody so. could do anything better than I could exactly. do it. Exactly. They but, can do it. But we when, can do once it you turn that around, mm -hmm. And you can become the coordinator of all these people who are um, doing excellent jobs and you're, you're putting together a strategy and of course you're still focusing on the culture and the alliance building right. and, and the overall business strategy of the firm. Then, uh, but you've delegated the sales, the marketing, the administrative tasks, the work of the business, whatever uh, service you're providing. If you can have teams of people doing all of that, and you're retaining the overall business strategy and the business alliance building and right. the culture generation, then you know you've arrived at second level leadership. Right. That's a good that's a good point. I wanna go into how someone can contact you, get in touch with you and you know, mm -hmm. actually utilize your service, you right. know, as a consultant. Um, if you could speak to that. And then after I wanna then talk a topic that is really a big topic about professional women. I know this is a lot of the things that we discussed in the book, were, I was really concentrating on the women mm. case studies and how the women were, you know, dealing with their businesses. Um, but specifically now in today's day and age, we have working mothers, we have working professional women that are doing their things. I want to get your feedback on that. But how does a, how do your ideal client contact you? What do you look for in an ID client? Ideal client. Excuse me. Um, 
Well, I'm looking for somebody who really wants to improve themselves. Like some people say, yeah, I want another promotion or I want to start a business, but then they're not willing to do the work and be committed, and they're not particularly coachable, meaning they're not willing to kind of look inside themselves and, say, and question and, and get very vulnerable with themselves about what, where they're stuck or what they're doing right, what they're doing wrong. And so um, the ideal client is someone who is doing fairly well, but they know they want to be on the lead. They know they want to get up, get up there. They know they want their, grow, their business to grow exponentially. Sometimes they recognize that they're a bottleneck in their own business mm -hmm. or a bottleneck in their own careers sometimes. And so um, they look for a coach. Um, they can find me at my website, which is drivingimprovedresults.com. Drivingimprovedresults.com. And there's a form there that they can fill out with some basic information, maybe a challenge or a goal, and so that it kind of introduces me to them so that we can have a, a conversation. Sometimes it's face-to-face, -face, sometimes it's through video conference. Gotcha. And, um, and then we decide based on questions they ask, questions I ask, if we're a good fit, and then we decide to work together. And the working together, is it um, a meeting every week, or is it depending, of course, on the client, I guess, yeah, and the so situation? Could, sometimes it's three meetings a month, because mm -hmm. everybody's got busy lives. Mm -hmm. um, three meetings a month um, usually involves some uh, reading or listening to materials that st kind of stimulate your thinking. Mm -hmm. And then um, there's always some kind of field work in between sessions because you're expected to implement, right? You're right. not expected to just sit and get insights online. You're expected to actually implement and follow through on the way, conversation you're going to have with your boss, the conversation you're going to have with your client, the conversation you're going to have with the subordinate, um, uh, what kind of planning you're going to do, and um, what kind of information you want to follow up on and do some Google research on or read another book about or whatever. And so that's, um, that's the kind of field work that's in between things that really implement the work you've done in the coaching sessions to take, take your career business to the next level. Makes a lot of sense and it's so necessary. I think a lot of small business, and I want to stop saying that word small business, but business owners need to understand that it takes the time, it takes the effort, the energy mm -hmm. on their part to implement and to find someone as sophisticated, sophisticated and knowledgeable as Jerry to work with and to get to that next level and I definitely will be considering that. Mm -hmm.